I think uh, it's always good to focus on different aspects of any community. And we have a perfect venue in this community called the Goulburn Recreation Complex. We're standing in Matt Bradley Arena that we commemorated today. We showcased sledge hockey in this community and across the city. Having the Paralympics coming up in March, I think that was an important focus because we do have some players from Ottawa that are part of the national uh, sledge hockey team. Go Canada, go! Canada, go. go. It was a great social. Good luck to you. Thank you. And putting a focus on sledge hockey because this arena is made to be all accessible. I think that was important. The part of this celebration today, and I think it, I think you as a community should be so proud to be able to let the world know that the first fully accessible ice rink in the National Capital Region is here. This ice pad in this building in Stittsville. Let me introduce you to the alumni Paralympians. Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome Angelo Gavalucci. Angelo is one of the originals of SHIO, been playing sledge hockey since 1981, the International Year of the Disabled. He is a three-time Paralympian and recalls the first ever sledge hockey tournament in Ottawa during winter lewd on Dow's Lake in 1985. It was minus 35 degrees that weekend. Angelo Gavalucci! Would you welcome and give a Stittsville salute to Hervé Lord? Hervé is a multi-sport athlete, medals in both winter and summer events. Having started sledge hockey in 1987 on Team Canada from 1991 until 2010, a five-time Paralympian in sledge and a mentor for many that are here today, ladies and gentlemen, Hervé Lord. John Labonte. John discovered sledge hockey after reading a newspaper article, then caught up with Hervé, who introduced him to the sport. And the uh, sports writers described him as a tenacious defenseman on Team Canada from 96 until 2010, including a time as captain. He is a four-time Paralympian, including a gold and silver medal. Jean Labonte. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the royalty, the royalty of sledge hockey, Lou Mobilehill. Another original from those earliest days of sledge hockey in Ottawa. Lou was a longtime designer and builder of custom sledges. Some of those sledges still used today. Two-time Paralympian. He was immediately hooked after getting into a sledge with the freedom and floating he'd never really felt before and helped all of us in the National Capital Region learn what sledge hockey was. Ladies and gentlemen, Lou Mulvey Hill. <laughs> Danny Lapom. <laughs> An incredible 16 Paralympian medals in aquatics and athletics. Represented Canada in both wheelchair basketball and sledge hockey and continues to be a mentor and key member within SHIO. Denis Lapong. I'm thrilled to introduce Emily Glossop. Four years on the Canadian para-alpine ski team as a guide for visually impaired Paralympian Kathleen Forrestel. And you know, with her husband, team captain, sledge hockey veteran of five Paralympian, Todd Nicholson, Emily introduced this next young man to sledge hockey. And this young man is going to Sochi in a couple of weeks. Dan Delaney! Ben is, ben is 17 years old, 
newest Team Canada member, helped Canada take gold at the Four Nations Cup at the test event in Sochi and the World Sledge Hockey Challenge just recently in Toronto, Ben Delaney. And he too is going to Sochi. He's a veteran. Mark is a veteran of two Paralympics, including gold in Torino in 2006, world champion in 2008-2013, has been playing sledge hockey with Gio since he was only four years old. Mark Dorion. We're sending them off to Sochi today with, uh, with, with this event. But I want to, uh, I, I want to get some of the some of the Olympians to uh, just share with you what what uh, what it's all been like, and it must be uh, it must be a, a wonderful feeling to represent in Canada. Well, there's nothing like it. Uh, all your hard years of work and finally making the team and to uh, wear the Canadian sweater internationally, there's uh, no words to uh, describe it. The uh, the, ex the excitement that must be there, and uh, to play at the elite levels of, par of uh, Paralympics. Uh, Describe that feeling for us. Well, having a chance to wear this jersey, it's uh, it's quite a privilege. It's not everybody who has a chance to wear it, and I had to uh, a chance to wear it for 19 years because I played 19 years on the national team. So it was quite a privilege for me and an honor. And then I had a chance to represent our country five times and then the world championship as well. So it was just fantastic. Wow! And uh, you have some best memories. Oh my God! Well, you know. Uh, there's a lot of good memories. Um, I got to remember Torino uh, with the, the national team winning the gold medal was something to remember, something we'll share forever, the teammates. Uh, going to Nagano, my first Paralympics, so I'm going to remember that forever. So, uh, and Vancouver was just, just playing at home. Uh, nothing gets better than that, right? Playing, uh, playing in front of our families and friends, uh, great moments. So uh, great memories all around. And you haven't lost any of the enthusiasm for the... Uh, <laughs> where did Lou go? Go Canada, go! And Lou... Uh, Lou, if you, if you just think back to when you, when you started to build sledges, the changes that have happened so that today we're celebrating the first fully accessible ice pad in Ottawa. Finally, the breakthroughs. It's amazing, yes, it's amazing how sledge hockey has developed over the years. When we first started playing, we, we played in a sled called, we called it the Blue Bomber. It was, uh, there were no skate blades, it was on steel runners, quarter inch thick, wide, <laughs> and they weighed about 40 pounds each, and once you got going one of those things, you couldn't stop, you couldn't control it or anything, but it, it just felt as though you were gliding. Uh, on ice and, and I felt the freedom of it that just sort of caught me and caught a lot of my fellow players and uh, it just developed from there just like any sport will develop over time and we made the sleds better and we, we attracted the better athletes from from the other sports and now sledge hockey is right up there in the world with uh, one of the best most competitive sports there is for disabled people. Well and we're recognizing when you come out here on the sledge there is an equality here. Thank you to all the, the uh, Paralympians. Champions, champions who represented Canada, represented Canada so well, and you know, give us so much pride. And, and we thank you for those years. Can I just bring out the two Paralympians that are going to Sochi this, for us this year? Ben, Mark. And, and there's nothing shy about either one, either one of these guys. And, how are you containing the excitement? Oh, it's hard. I'm, I'm super excited to go over and represent for Canada and get the opportunity to win a gold medal. Uh, just been training a lot and trying to keep my mind, uh, you know, on the on the present. And so I'm just, uh, it's hard, but I'm really excited. It's coming soon. So. You're a veteran of this, Mark. Are you, are you able to settle them down? We we try, but uh, he gets pretty excited for uh, going over. But I remember at his age what it was like for for my first games, and uh, the the excitement a little it's a little overwhelming. So uh, you know we, we try and uh, provide our experiences to them and let them know so that we can kind of try and take away a little bit of nervousness on their part, and they can just be excited to go out go out there and play and do their best. 
Well, we've got uh, six of the junior members of, uh, of the sledge hockey group with us here today. They, they are going to present to you a flag that's been signed by everybody here today. And they've, they've also got some uh, good wishes cards that have been signed by people here. So we will get the kids to come up and make the presentation to you. And remember this moment on a, on a cold Sunday morning in Stittsville. In about a couple of weeks, when the word comes back from Russia, and we're talking about Team Canada, the powerhouse at the Sochi Paralympics. Go Canada, go! Go Canada, go! Go Canada, go! And you know, it's taken a lot of work, taking a lot of planning. The staff here at the rec center have been absolutely amazing over in getting ready for today and coming in and helping the, uh, the tournament get underway. But I think that you should all be as proud as the two people that are about to join me here, the manager of the complex, Julia Chenier, and your Ottawa City Councillor, Shad Codry. Thank you. 